Hello and welcome to part two of Fashion Hub Design Zamari Homes. This was where we left off in uh, the part one of this video. Uh, in part two of this video, we'll be designing two other pages. Uh, let me quickly show you. Designing this page, the explore page, and the collection page. And uh, let me quickly show you what the, the result we are expecting to get. So this is the result for the explore page, and uh, this is the result for the collections page. Without wasting time, let's get started. Okay. So um, right here, I have the explore page open. It's a blank page. I have nothing yet. So I'm going to delete this. So before we continue, let's check our prototype. Now, if you look at this, we we have two. We have uh, on the on these uh, two pages, they look similar. Especially the the title uh, part here looks similar. And in order not to repeat ourselves, um, we are going to be using a control template. So we design we define a control template in our app.xaml and uh, we'll, we'll bind to this in our respective uh, pages okay so that's the first thing we're going to do so let's open our app.xaml right here so after this we're going, I'm going to bring in a control template uh, that's going to define our page okay so right here I have a control template right here um let me collapse this so i'll explain so you, the, this is what see this as uh the, the skeleton of our page how the page is going to look like so we have a grid uh, uh in the page uh, the grid has two rows uh, auto and uh, uh this uh other row takes the rest of the space okay so the the, the title part we take this is auto and uh, any other thing that we want to add to our page will be in this uh, second row. So uh, this is our title. This is our title portion. The, the title part also has a, a grid that has two two columns. One is uh, is taking as much space as possible, and the other is auto. And in this first uh, column, that's where we want our title to be. So we are setting the text to the template binding uh, and the which is uh, setting to the title of the parent. So any page that we are using, where we are using this control template, whatever title we set in this uh, page will be uh, inherited here. So that is the purpose of this binding here. Uh, we also have some property sets here. We set the font using the Playfair bold fonts like we have in the previous video the font size is 22 other things so we have this uh part that defines our the favorite and the cut part of the page so that is for that is for the first row the second row is going to be our content presenter and uh, the, the the function of this is that any other content that we want to add to the page uh let me show you in our prototype so any other content all these other contents now will be in the part of the content presenter will be in this part okay so now that we have our our uh control template set up let's go back to our explore page you're going to be using um we're going to be using a content view uh, to hold our page. So let me bring the code snippet here for sake of time and bring it in. Okay, so we have a content view and we're setting the control template to the general template. That's the this control template that we created here. So we have that set and set some properties here. Then we now have a scroll view uh, because we want to be able to scroll uh, the contents. If we have uh, uh, content that's, uh, that's overflowing, so we, set the, we put it in the scroll view. 
Then our main uh, layout is a stack layout. Uh, we are using a bindable layout to bind to items. And we, are, we have the data templates right here. The data template contains an image and overlay and also uh, a stack of text text rather so let's see so we have we have the image so if i select this this is the overlay we have this image and uh, we have uh, this text and this text uh, in uh, in a stack layout so that's what we have right here so the next we're going to do is let's set the title for our page that's all our pages explore so that we will be able to make use of it all right so the second thing i'm going to do uh that's be for the collections page so let's go to the collections page right here it's also an empty page so i'm going to delete this and let me set the title title of the page to collections collections okay so our collection uh view our collections page rather is uh the same very similar to the explore page the only difference is in the uh is in the margin if you look here it follows the same pattern but this has a margin all around each item has margin all around it so if you look here uh our grid here in the data template has a margin of 15 uh, left and right and five at the top and bottom so that is that okay so that is for the view so let's bind some items uh to our view so this is for collection let's say it's a binding context because this I want you to know that uh, I'm, I'm focusing more on the design and not uh, particularly uh, uh, best practices uh, when it comes to code. So this is just to show, to be able to show items on our page. Uh, in, in real life scenario, I wouldn't be writing uh, the code like this. I'm probably going to be, uh, using the uh, MVVM uh, approach. So. Uh, just to clarify this, that uh, this is not uh, necessarily the best approach when it comes to code. So the focus is more on the design of uh, the respective pages. Okay, so let's bring in uh, the property here for our collection. So I'm going to bring in the property that is setting uh, that is binding to our, our view. So we have this um okay so we have um we have a class called category and uh, let me quickly bring that out here i'm going to put that as an embedded class just like i said this is just to show data on a page you normally should create a new uh class file uh, and structure your uh, classes uh, appropriately okay so uh, we have a list of category uh, we have three categories here uh, set to image image watches mini dresses mini dress and coats uh, we have the title set here men's wrist watch women's mini dresses and women's coats just like we have in our prototype that it takes for the collections okay so let's go to our explore page uh, code behind and do the same right here Okay, so I'm going to do this dot binding context cross this. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the property uh, set for the explore page so that we have some data on the page too. Okay, so we have a list of category also, but for this we have uh, three properties. We have the the image, the title, and the caption, just like we have here. We have the image, the title, and the caption. All right, so that's about it. Let's run this now. 
and see what we have. It is running now. Okay, we have this our first page as we have it. Let's check the second page. Yes, we have it. Explore, we have our, our buttons right up here. This is scrollable. And scroll up and down. Let's check our collections. Yes, we also have our collections page. Scroll up, scroll down. Now we have it. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, and also share with uh, your friends and your community uh, so that other people can uh, take advantage of this uh, video. Uh, remember, it's good to share. And also, subscribe to this channel. As we'll be developing uh, this application more, we'll be adding more features to it, more pages to it. And uh, uh, we, when we upload new content, you want to be, be able to get notified. So please subscribe to this channel and also click the bell icon so that you get notification when we upload uh, new content. Uh, if you want to, if you are, if you are new to uh, implementing Shell, you can check our video called uh, uh, Implementing Shell in Xamarin Form 4.0. The link will be in the description below. And if you want to check the uh, a part one of this video, you see the link in the description uh, below. All right. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video.